So today, we're going to color code our salad. In a diet way of thinking, a salad is healthy, so you can have it anytime you want. But as you know, not all salads are created the same. Some will really spike insulin, while others may not. So the best way is to color code your salad. The easiest way before you start is to look at your salad and break down the foods into individual groups. What do you see in front of you? Let's take the salad for example. You see arugula, you see spinach, you see broccoli, you see carrots. All those are vegetables. So you group all those as vegetables. Next, you see some chicken there. Chicken is a protein. You also see some croutons. Crouton is made out of grains. So you group that into the grain category. You also see the dressing. Raspberry dressing is sweet, so that will belong in the sweet category. In addition, you see some dry cranberries. That will be a fruit. Uh, and you also see some cheese. That will be a dairy. And maybe if they sprinkle some nuts on there, that will be nuts. There. After you identify the individual ingredients in the salad that you see, it's important then to ask what color light does it belong to? Because understanding the color light will help you understand whether or not these foods will increase your insulin level. So the first thing that you want to look at is you want to avoid any red light food. Remember, the red light foods will spike your insulin. Even a bite of that will spike your insulin level. And guess how long it takes to bring down your insulin level again? Yes, you're right, three weeks. So even if you cheat here, it will, it will throw you back for about three weeks. So you have to be very careful here. Avoid the red light food. So in this salad, what do we see? The vegetables. The first thing I will look at are the three, uh, are the uh, items in the red light groups for vegetables. And there's a simple way to remember this. Potato, corn, carrots, and beets. These are the veggies I cannot eat. So whenever I see a vegetable, I would repeat that in my mind. Potato, corn, carrots, and beets, these are the veggies I cannot eat. And these are all the red light vegetables. So when you look at it right in front of you, I see the carrots, I see uh, the corn. Uh, as a result of this, I would take that out. Just group it out, uh, take that out, and put it in another section of your salad. The rest of them are vegetables, and it's okay. What are the other reds that you see? Grains. Croutons is a grain, so I would take the croutons and put it to uh, put it aside as well. And the dressing definitely is the red. Um, the best dressing for any salad, especially if you want to uh, use it, just dip it on the side. Use balsamic or vinaigrette or Italian dressing. I also see the fruits there. Uh, it's uh, the dry cranberries. Cran uh, cranberry is a uh, berries, so it's a yellow light fruit. But remember, the yellow light fruits include only the fresh, uh, fresh fruits, not necessarily uh, dry fruits. So as a result of this, the dryness of uh, the uh, cranberries would then be considered a red light. So take out the dry cranberries. You also see the dairy. Dairy is a yellow light food. And when can you have that? You have it at breakfast time. You don't have it at lunch, at dinner, or at, or at any other times. So I would also take out the cheese if you can. The last thing is the nuts. Nuts is a yellow light food. And where do you eat the nuts? You eat it as an afternoon snack. Remember, all yellow light, you have to be very cautious. You have to think about this a little bit more. And because it may spike your insulin if you eat more than one portion, you have to be careful, and that's why we put a certain time. Dairy always at breakfast, a fruit always as a morning snack, and the nuts as an afternoon snack. And because you're eating this as a lunch, uh, the nuts, the yellow light foods such as nuts, fruits, or the cheese here, will be then uh, considered yellow, and you would want to put that on the side if you can. And looking at the salad further, you see that there is uh, more vegetables, that is not potato, corn, carrots, and beets, the arugula, the broccoli. All those are green light food, so you can have as much as you want. And if you are at a buffet, go ahead, come back, and have more of those green light veggies. The chicken is also on there. Chicken is a protein, and that's a great food to have for your green light. Remember, with the green light, you can have as much as you want. 
and anytime you want. Um, and but especially at lunch or dinner, you want to have at least your fist size. So make sure you eat at least your fist size. If you don't, you may get very hungry. Typically, when it comes to chicken, I tend to eat at least one and a half size of my fist. Otherwise, I will get very, very hungry later on. And the way that I eat my salad, I always eat the green leafy fresh vegetable first, then I will eat my protein after. Because when you eat the green leaf vegetable first, you're more likely to be full compared to when you eat the chicken before you eat the vegetables. So in summary, when you look at a salad, the first thing that you want to do is that you want to break down the food into its individual ingredients. Group them. Is it a sweet? Is it a vegetable? Is it a fruit? Is it berry? Is it uh, um, nuts? Uh, is it a protein? Once you identify them individually in its own ingredients, then the next thing that you want to do is ask, what color light is it? Is it a red light, green light, and yellow light? Have more of the green light food because those food will lower your insulin level. Avoid the red light food because those food will spike your insulin level immediately. And be very careful with the yellow light food. Thank you for listening.